Since Canva announced they were adding Canva Docs to their Visual Work Suite about a month ago at Canva Create, the internet couldn't stop talking about it. With all the headlines pointing out that Canva was now ready to take on tech giants like Google and Microsoft. So what exactly are Canva Docs? What can they do? And can they really dethrone Google Docs and Microsoft Word? Well, that's exactly what we are going to discuss in this video. What is up guys, Ronnie here, super happy to be back with you on the channel. Today we are going to be talking about Canva Docs, what we already know about Canva Docs. I have prepared this little video as a summary, a nice little bundle of all the information Canva already mentioned about Canva Docs that are a little bit all over the place. I managed to gather it all up in this video right here. A little disclaimer, I'm not going to talk about any confidential information I might have received as a Canva verified expert because we have had early access to Canva Docs. But however, I believe this is a nice and juicy video for you to enjoy so that you are ready the day Canva will push the button and roll out Canva Docs to all users. And by all means, we don't have a public date for that rollout. So I don't know when Canva Docs is going to be available to all users. All right. Now, that being said, let's jump into the meat of this tutorial and discover what Canva Docs are all about. The idea behind Canva Docs is that though the world has moved into a visual first communication style, traditional document editors like Google Docs or Microsoft Word are still very clunky when it comes to working with visuals. Indeed, adding rich graphical elements could be quite a painful experience on these platforms. Adding a photo, a table or a chart to your Google Doc is quite cumbersome. And I'm not even talking about videos. So I guess Canva saw an opportunity to disrupt a stagnating industry with Canva Docs. The idea is that to stand out and make an impression in a world that's gone visual, you need to be able to create documents that are visually stunning and impactful, which Google Docs and Microsoft Word documents aren't, let's be honest. So that's in a nutshell why Canva Docs exist and what they are. They are an alternative to boring, clunky, non-visual documents that people use to create up to today, either in Google Docs or in Microsoft Word. So now that we have established that, let's talk a little bit more about the features that Canva Docs will have, the stuff that Canva already announced or teased in different places. And the first one is templates. In true Canva fashion, we can expect Canva Docs to roll out with hundreds, if not thousands of beautiful templates covering a wide range of document types. Now, these templates will be gorgeous because they have been designed by professional designers. And we can reasonably expect templates when Docs will roll out for documents such as strategy docs, meeting notes, financial reports, business proposals, newsletters, to-do list, meal planners, or lesson plans for teachers. And those are really only the tip of the iceberg because I suspect that Canva will also open the creation of templates for Canva Docs to the Canva creators community. And when that happens, we will see all sorts of creative templates taking Canva Docs to the next level. Now let's talk about content. The promise is that the entire content library of Canva, that is the photos, the videos, the graphics, the GIFs, everything can be added to your Canva docs to make them more visuals, to make them more beautiful. Say goodbye to boring, uninspiring docs. And indeed the content library is Canva's biggest competitive advantage when compared to Google docs, for example, that doesn't have such content library integrated with their editor. So leveraging all of that content is is a very smart move from Canva because this clearly differentiates their editor from Microsoft or Google's editor because they don't have all of this content handy. So double thumbs up Canva. And Canva already teased how they will allow users to access all of that content from Google Docs, like you can see in this little footage here of Canva's video. There is this little plus button that will allow you to easily add content to your Canva Docs, like photos, videos, shapes, tables, anything really from the Canva library. And that's not it. You can also add content to your document with another shortcut, and that is the slash key on your keyboard. And I believe for non-English keyboard user, that will be 
the shortcut Command E or Control E if you're using a PC. So simply press the slash key and you will be able to add any type of content to your page. And this feature I am actually able to show to you because we already have access to this for other document types. This is not a Canva doc exclusive. So I'm going to type the slash key right here and this window will pop up and you see it says slash magic. Basically I can call any type of content from this menu like a table, emoji, rectangle, anything really. This list is pretty exhaustive. I have a lot of options here. So this will be available to Canva docs. Okay. So you will have the little plus icon on the document and the possibility to hit your slash key to add that content. So literally putting all of that content at my fingertip with the slash key. That's amazing. All right, moving on with what Canva Docs will be able to do regarding content. The next point right here is to embed anything seamlessly into your Canva Doc. And I'm talking about all the traditional embeds, like embedding a YouTube video, embedding a social media post, all the stuff we already know and like about Canva embeds, but also, and this is new, giving us the freedom to embed any other Canva design we have created before. So I'm talking about embedding to your Docs presentation decks you might have created with Canva before, videos, social media posts, even whiteboards you might have used to brainstorm some ideas. And that's not the end of the story. Canva also teased in that little promo video that all of the documents you will be embedding in your docs will be editable from right there without having to leave the document you're working on. So that's pretty awesome. And I did a little bit of digging around about this idea of everything in one place. And I found an article on the Canva website where Canva explains a very specific use case where these features, these integration might be handful. So let's have a look. So that is the article, new Canva docs will create beautiful, rich documents. If I scroll down here, I will find the example. It says, imagine building a project plan that includes a whiteboard, your team brainstormed on, the presentation you use for the kickoff meeting, and the social media assets or videos you plan to use all in one place. So meaning all embedded in your Canva doc. So that is what we will be able to do by being able to embed other Canva documents we have created easily into one single document. So all your assets live in one place. So that's what they mean. So that is for the editing features, the features that have to do with the content on your Canva docs. Now let's talk about another set of features that are very important for Canva and Canva docs. And those are the collaboration features. Nailing the collaboration features will be crucial for Canva Docs because Google Docs does that very well. It is very easy to collaborate with a Google Doc. So if Canva wants to compete, they need to be at least as good. So we can expect to see the collaborative features we already know in Canva, talking about the nominative cursors and selections and being able to see what everybody else is doing on your Canva doc. I'm talking about sharing your document with your team in different ways, inviting them with their email, inviting them if they are in your Canva team, etc, etc. So all of these sharing options are going to be there, of course. I'm talking about tagging people and assigning tasks, just like we have been doing so far. You put the little at symbol, the name of someone in your team, and you're tagging that person. And you have a checkbox to assign a task to that person. So that's also something we already have in Canva. But there is something new though that has been teased by Canva in this space, the collaboration space. And that is the ability to create interactive to-do lists and agendas in your Canva docs. On top of that, on top of collaboration features, portability will be a huge deal as well. And that is why you will be able to work on your Canva docs from anywhere, meaning any device. You will be able to start your Canva doc from the comfort of your laptop and then maybe jump on a public transport and continue editing your documents or revising your documents or reading a document from your smartphone or your tablet. So you will be able to work on your Canva docs from everywhere. 
Now, that's all good, but if you want to take out established giants like Google and Microsoft, you'd better come out strong. So Canva knows they have to flex a couple of wow features to really get users on board, to get users to switch from Google Docs to Canva Docs. And this is where Docs to Dex comes into play. Have you ever had to create a presentation based on a document that you have been writing? Copying and pasting all of that information from your document to your presentation can take a lot of time. And then you still have to work on the design of your slides to make them look professional. This could be quite a long process. And with Docs to Dex, Canva wants to radically shorten that process. The promise is with the press of a button in the new Canva Docs, you can magically transform your Canva document into to a presentation deck and all the formatting will be handled for you. So turning documents into presentations in just one click. Now that might very well be the wow feature Canva needs. And we don't know much more about this docs to Dex feature, just that it exists, that Canva is working on it and that it has been teased in their promo video. It shows a button that says convert to presentation in your Canva doc and some slides being auto generated from the content in your doc. That's pretty much all we know for now, but the idea is awesome. Let's talk a little bit about sharing your docs. In terms of sharing your docs, you will be able to share them online via a Canva link. And also Canva communicated that we would even be able to do so with a branded URL. So you will be able to modify that URL not have the very long Canva, blah, 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 all the characters URL, but a branded URL, kind of like a bit.ly that you can customize or at least part of it. So that's something that has been announced as well. Or you can share your Canva docs in a more traditional way by exporting them into a PDF document. And like I said before, Canva docs will be fully responsive. So we can expect them to look great across all devices and any screen sizes. Canva also showed us that Canva Docs will come with document insights, which will give us some basic information about your document, like how long is it, who interacted with it, and how is that changing over time? How much time does a viewer require to read your doc on average based on the number of words inside that document? So all of these types of insights will be available kind of like the website insights that we already have with Canva websites. And then we have data visualization. And this one is a big one for Canva. They are really going hard on the data visualization wildcard, if I can say so, another wildcard, another maybe wow feature probably when compared to Google and Microsoft. Canva understands that data needs to be beautiful and easy to digest, okay? Should not be just a bunch of numbers in a table, in a spreadsheet that nobody cares about, nobody really understands. So here again, Canva will be built building upon the existing features, the charts and graphs we already know and like in Canva, where we can import our data either manually, input it into Canva or import a CSV file or a spreadsheet. So that's what we already can do. What's new is that with Flourish joining the Canva family earlier this year, users can now create more advanced and interactive charts and graphics that make data even easier to understand. And I'm no expert, but Canva is talking about a couple of examples here, like bar and line races, drill down sunburst and tree maps that will be kind of animated animated charts in an animated way to tell a story with data. What they're trying to do is to make data fun and engaging for any audience. So the plan is to bring all of these amazing data viz features into Canva Docs, giving users an opportunity to create stunning experiences for document viewers when it comes to data storytelling. So this is definitely another wow feature that Google and Microsoft should definitely pay attention to if they don't want to see their users migrating to Canva Docs. 
And then the cherry on top of all this, because I think that's already a lot of good features we've talked about, is that the Canva app ecosystem will be available from Canva Docs. I'm talking about all of the Canva apps or Canva integrations that nicely interact with Canva in terms of fetching your content, in terms of creating new content, or in terms of just modifying your content, like the ability to add GIFs from the Giphy library, for example, or Bitmojis, or characters, or Google Maps, or anything really. So this map ecosystem, and we've been told that this ecosystem is only at its infant stage. There's going to be an entire marketplace coming out in this space soon. But the bottom line is that Canva Docs will be compatible with this app ecosystem that Canva is building. So what do you think, guys? Was that a useful recap or what? If you like this video, I'm going to ask you for one thing, one and only, to like this video right now take a second like the video this will give us the momentum to grow and to push this video further in youtube and also if you're not yet subscribed to the channel you are missing out my friend you are missing out on hundreds of very good tutorials to learn more about canva so you know what to do subscribe to the channel so you never miss on the good stuff and this is it for me today i'm going to leave you with this video right here which is the full recap of all of the other features the new new features that were announced at Canva Create. Thank you for watching until the end. I will see you in the next video.